another day as i was praying uh, god specifically gave me a word for australia and that was a leap and prevail and when i searched a leap it was like a jump or spring a long way to a great ah. height and i believe that god is truly bringing the greatest revival in australia because it is the time to leap and it's not a coincidence that uh the kangaroo is a the kangaroo is a national uh, a symbol for australia and leaping of it i believe that the revival is times to like go into the greater force and and we are not here by accident but by the glory and the purpose of our lord and 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 prevailing is like coming against a force or against a will and coming over being victorious and i believe there's some of the forces that Cindy was talking about like going to come against but i believe that we going to prevail in the name of jesus come on everybody and with that i want to bring baby you had a wonderful word yesterday as we were doing over new zealand conference do you have any word for australia my friend yeah i do i'll share that word and then um that's the holy passionate fire of god um but just before i do just what i've been seeing in australia Dar darren kenning and i um toured together this year in march and for five weeks we we traveled and ministered together at 30 30 meetings in new zealand australia and singapore um, 19 of them were in Australia. We minister at Todd Weatherly's church here, Jimmy and Gino's, right through Australia. And every meeting, we saw the power of God move on a whole new level. People were having heavenly encounters and the deaf were being healed and, and reconstructive miracles. And we, we're seeing a whole new level in the manifestation of what God's doing. But I'll just share this word now. So it's really great. Cindy jumped on today. That was such an honor. And it's an honor to be with all of you. But in 2020, um, it was July the 22nd, the Lord gave me my first prophetic word to share with the nations. And it was a very risky world, uh, word. The world was in lockdown, as in all the airports were shut down. No one was going anywhere. And the Lord had me prophesy that the greatest revival the world will ever see will begin in New Zealand and Australia and literally move clockwise around the world following the Pacific Ring of Fire. And it would touch all the Ring of Fire nations and Three days Beautiful. later, Cindy went live at a rise conference with Bill Johnson, and she prophesied the three the three same things. She she prophesied a lot of things, but she touched the three main points that revival was coming to New Zealand, Australia, and the Ring of Fire nations. Wow. And what God's done since then is He's given me revelation of of the characteristics of what the re revival looks like. Because back then He gave me a word saying it's the holy, passionate fire of God. So the first thing, the holy God is restoring reverence and awe for his holiness and he reminded me of moses by the Good. burning bush where he taught him reverence and awe. he says take off your shoes you're standing on holy ground now we grew up as christians knowing that by the blood of jesus we can enter boldly into the throne room but with that's come a complacency so god's restoring reverence and awe and then since then john bevere's put his book out about the awe of god so i know this is the word of the lord the second thing is uh, uh, the passion the holy passionate fire of god God reminded me of the church of Ephesus in Revelation where he commends them. But he says, however, you've forsaken your first love. And one of the characteristics of this revival was first love passion. He's restoring the passion of our first love. And if you've ever been in love, you can't stop talking about that person. You can't stop thinking about them. And from that first love passion will flow first love witnessing as in from the overflow of our love for God, we will witness out of that. It doesn't become a chore. It's easy. We want to talk about Jesus. And the third thing is that the fire of God, the holy, passionate fire of God, there's three components too. The power of God is coming back to the church like we've never seen before in our lifetimes. And God reminded me of some of the stories in the Old Testament. Joshua spoke to the son. Just think about that. Joshua spoke to the son. He said, stand still. Now that is real power. That type of power is coming back to the church in these last days like we've never, ever seen. The second component is that the purging of the fire, that God is refining the bride because he's coming back soon for a bride without spot or wrinkle. And it's a purging fire. What we've been seeing is people with traumas from childhood in their 70s and 80s. God's bringing it to the surface like that fire is just bringing everything to the surface and he's purging and cleaning his bride. And the third thing with the fire is it spreads fire spread so I, I declare and i prophesy of australia the holy passionate fire of god in jesus name amen